What is up everybody? Good morning. This is the start to day two. I need some sugar for my coffee, which is why I'm going to the grocery store. Uh, it's called Price Chopper. It's kind of a local grocer here. It's gonna be real quick. Now I'm gonna go get some donuts for my wife and I, just cause I woke up early and we need to treat yourself. That, that's my motto, treat yourself as much as you can. So anyways, let's get on with the day. And I'll talk to y'all soon. Local price driver. All right, I'll just get this. This is all I need from the store. This some sugar. Power get acquired, got the donuts. Lamar's is like a local place here in Kansas City. If you ever get here, please try them out because they are delicious. I don't care, none of y'all say the Cinnamon Toast Crunch Creamer, it's a different. Yeah, I know I put a lot of cream in my coffee. I don't care. So not a lot has happened this morning. Just responding back to comments. That said, um, just waiting for work to be over, as most of us do. Um, I get a lunch break, and then I'm going to be dashing tonight. Haven't thought of a goal yet to make, but... We'll see what happens. Hopefully it's busy. It is a Tuesday. It is in the month, so you never know. Walmart had a really good incentive this weekend, but I told myself I was not working, so it just didn't happen. Sometimes you got to take those breaks. It's important. Mental health is important. So anyways, we'll keep this day going. I'll check in when something interesting happens. Got the signed grilled cheese hamburger for lunch. The wife brought it with some tater tots. This looks good. I'm about to destroy this. Uh, my lunch is about eight minutes, but I'm still gonna eat before my lunch time, so I can chill. What's up everybody? I am taking my lunch break. I might start a lunch break thought series. We'll see. The first thing I have been thinking about is taking time off. Oftentimes people don't take enough time off for their mental health. They feel like they have to work to move on to the next level, to be that extra person, and the office that you can get depend you, you don't want to do that it's not worth it companies do not care about the individual i can't say all of them do but of most of them if big 500 fortune 500 companies don't care you can work 80 hours a week it's still going to be the same treatment take the time off it's important to give yourself the time to relax because no job is worth you not being able to have fun. You work to live. Now use some of the money that you have if you can do things to have some fun. Whether it's like me, go to a baseball game or go to the mall, buy yourself something nice. Go go to a nice dinner somewhere. You know, take a day off just to lay in bed and watch Netflix all day. I don't really care what you do. You know, go on a day trip somewhere. Just do something because taking time off is important. And I think in our culture, not enough people do it. In other cultures in Europe, they emphasize taking holidays and really, you know, living your life to the full existence. Here in America, people work two or three jobs. People work 80 hours a week. For what reason? To to get moved up. It's really not worth it. And hopefully, you know, what I'm saying can, you know, be said as truth. And people are like, okay, I kind of get it. I don't really share my opinion a lot, but just as kind of just a thought of mine, take off of work. But anyways, I'm not gonna rant anymore. I'm gonna finish these next four hours and then we're gonna go out dashing. What's up everybody, I'm doing gig work. I got my first order tonight with DoorDash. 650 for three point something miles. I will include some clips in here of my shift. Nothing too crazy. Hopefully I can make a little bit of money tonight. Let's go. I can't begin to tell y'all how much I hate apartments. Luckily, I go to this apartment all the time. I got my food right here. And it's pretty easy. So, I'll have to drop this one off right now. Food is dropped off. So I completed the order and bam, hidden tip. Not bad. First order dropped off. You can see on the screen, it's a good start. DoorDash hit a dollar for some strange reason. So, 750 on the day so far. Got a long way to go. Here at Papa John's, you can tell by the colors. 
You gotta have a pizza bag. DoorDash makes you take a picture of it. And so these pizza bag orders with the pizza program do pay pretty decent. Um, I had one that had like a $23 tip on it. So sometimes you gotta wait for Papa John's, but that is okay. This is only like a $7 order for like two miles. I highly doubt it's a hidden tip, but hey, let's keep it moving. Ipsy, Papa John's. So here's a DoorDash tip for the day. If you have to hand it to a customer, text them or call them before you get there. That way you alert them that you're on the way. There's nothing more awkward than waiting outside with food in your hand. Just remember that. As always, a snag happens. Customer put the wrong address in. So now I have to go 0.4 miles down the road. And as you can probably see, it's a do not enter. So I'm gonna have to take an alternate way. Woohoo, but it's okay. Hopefully this order has a nice hidden tip behind it. So I guess folks can put the wrong address in. Luckily, it wasn't that far. And boom, a hidden tip. I think I may have called it. So not too bad. I think DoorDash might take me through the whole night. Spark has not done anything. What's going on with that? I want to deliver some groceries. As you can probably see, this is a one lane bridge. So be careful whenever you're driving. On to my next order at Jousting Pigs Barbecue. It's local here in Liberty, Missouri. Barbecue's okay, it's not bad. Uh, this order pays $7.75 for four point six miles luckily my car does not sound like that but it's interesting here there's like a little brewery check it out lighting's bad but getting this next order done it is on the second floor which is fine apartments are the bane of my existence but i did get another order from grubhub for once it is 12 dollars for three miles i'm very shocked about this so i'm gonna keep doordash on because with raising canes you have to order which is okay. Hopefully the order is not too complicated, but if it is, we'll make do. So about to drop this order off right now and get to the next one. So deliver that one and boom, not that. It went up to $8.50. All right, got that order delivered. Went up to $8. It's not bad. Of course, DoorDash wants to send me a trash offer, which I'm not taking. So hey, do you raise your hands right now? Facing canes. I did get a spark order, $25 for nine miles. We'll see how that works, but that line's ridiculous. So going in will be the smarter move. Hopefully this does not take as long. Got a couple of Kaniac combos to order and all that fun stuff. So depending on the place you go, you might have to filter drinks. To me, it takes like two seconds. I don't care, but some dashers refuse to do it. Comment below on what side you're on. Team Philip drinks or a team customer needs to do it or a restaurant needs to do it. Like I said, it doesn't bother me any. It takes two seconds and get it done. It helps you get the order out faster. But let me know what you think below. Sorry for the angle with the sun in the lens, but just dropped that order off. Easy peasy, wasn't too far. Now heading to Walmart. Hopefully, I didn't get 18 things of water and deliver it to an apartment. But I looked at the items beforehand and made a better decision. So we will see. With Walmart, Spark can get, get about 15 minute grace period. So luckily I'm within that. So heading there now. So for those of you who have never done a Spark order, you'll say arrive and then you'll pick your parking spot and then you wait. It doesn't look too crowded. So probably got about five to 10 minutes. That's about normal. If you're waiting anything over 15, then call and say something. But it usually happens when it's busy. It's a Tuesday night. It shouldn't be that bad. All right, everybody. I'm going to end this video right here. Your boy's getting tired. It's time to go to bed. Uh, for those who wanted to know, I did. I made around 65 bucks in a matter of like two hours and 20 minutes. So not too terrible. Walmart Spork, Sp Spork Spark Order came in clutch. And it was time to call it a night. So not terrible. Uh, these vlogs are definitely going to be a work in progress. I think I'm going to try something a little bit different tomorrow with what I'm doing and shooting and kind of times. And I think I'm going to do that to try to make it a little bit more interesting. I sit on the computer all day trying to answer phones. And so it's not very interesting.
trust me. And I would hate to put you through that. I want to try make thing make these as entertaining as possible. The goal is at least to get to eight to ten minutes. You know, something worth time, something worth your time watching. I don't want a thirty minute vlog because it's boring. That's that's not worth it to you. It's not worth it to me. So, um, I appreciate all of you for watching. Day two of this experiment has gone down with the success. So, if y'all got any questions for me, I might do a Q and A. Put them in the comments below. All right, I'll talk to y'all soon. Have a good one. Thank you again for watching. Peace out.